Hey all here OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on first impressions review of the Deluxe Designer keyboard. It's a mechanical keyboard, but it's very non-traditional, and as the name suggests, it's mainly targeted at graphic designers as well as those who do a lot of modeling in software like AutoCAD, um, maybe for 3D printing, so on and so forth, and requires special commands on a regular keyboard that might be more difficult or timely to always find and access. I believe they are using either brown or blue switches on this one, it's been shipped over directly from one of their prototype uh, offices in Shenzhen, China, so we're eager to see how it works out and whether we need to install any specialty software for the drivers to be set up correctly on a computer. So this is a box. Right on top we have a translucent panel that says Designer Deluxe. Please visit the website to download the software and it's listed down below. It's using a Type-C interface on the top of the keyboard, and there's also a soft carrying pouch that you get to protect the keyboard when on the go. On the diagram, it also says micro SD card slot on the side, but as you can see on this pre-production model, it's actually nothing is built in. There's a little bit of a groove, but there hasn't been anything cut out from the plastic. This door doesn't physically open, so maybe that's a feature that they'll implement on the finalized version, but it's not on the one that I have in here. I'm not sure it's going to be a super useful feature if you're using it on more conventional laptops and desktops for designing things using it with more powerful software, but if you do need to connect this thing to a tablet or an ultrabook that might be missing a lot of I.O., then that could be a useful little secondary feature. Alright, so taking a closer look at the design of the Deluxe Keyboard, the entire shell is made out of aluminum, so it feels like it's a very premium, well-designed product. Here is the dial, which you can program using the drivers and software that you can install on your computer to let it zoom in, zoom out, change the thickness of a dial or a brush if you're using it for drawing apps, and it has this nice little mechanical uh, sound as you are spinning it, so it does have a pretty good sensation. You can also physically press down on the center key here, and it's reasonably tactile. The rest of the keys are using blue switches, so they do have a bit of noise if you're using it you know, somewhere that's really quiet. Um, it will produce a little bit of background sound, but overall it's quite comfortable. All the keys themselves are made out of a soft touch rubber material that's been coated on top of the individual keys, which provides a nice amount of resistancy and makes your fingers uh, not glide around as easily. And for the most part, everything remains comfortably accessible using just one hand, including the scroll wheel. And there's also a slight curve to the palm rest area down below here that makes it a little bit more easy on your wrists as you're using this keyboard. I've gone ahead and installed the drivers from the Deluxe website, and after plugging into power, first impressions is it's actually a backlit keyboard as well. It has this faint white glow that looks very professional. It's not RGB, so it doesn't change to other colors, but you can definitely see everything very well even in darker environments, and there's a very cool kind of glow around the dial that makes it, again, seem like something that's much more expensive. Now, by default, it actually acts as media controls and changes the volume, as you can see there on my computer, and you can use it by putting this up and down. After the software is installed, you can tap on, let's say, NumLock, and you can see the corresponding functions change on the corners of the display as well of your computer to tell you, uh, give you that notification that that's actually changing. So G1 to G9 are just acting as 1 through 9, and in this mode, we are just using this as a basic numpad. Obviously, the layout is very different from most numpads, which are vertically stacked uh, in a box shape, but right now everything is, is uh, actually scrolling like this horizontally, so it takes a little bit of time to get used to, but I guess you could use this for entering numbers, for accounting, things like that, for calculations if you want to use it as a dedicated numpad, uh, when you don't need it for additional software. And then tapping on, let's say, M1, now the software has been remapped to Illustrator, of course, I can change this if I want to, but basically it means whenever I tap on M1, the keys in terms of what they correspond to, which are highlighted here on the program for easy access, are going to do these corresponding tasks. Like G1 will now be Control plus N, G2 will be Control plus W uh, for Illustrator software. And tap on M2, for instance, it's changed to the second software, which is Photoshop. Again, some of these controls have been changed depending on the keys. And then M3, it changes once more for InDesign. Now, if I want to change the mapping for these individual keys, it's also pretty easy. I can just tap on one of these keys, for instance, and it's going to come up and I can access, let's say, a combination uh, that I would type in using my regular keyboard on the computer. So one thing I want to show you guys is if you tap on the center dot, which is basically this button here, what that does is it opens up a quick shortcut. Basically right now we have it set to sound, so that's why you see when I was using the scroll wheel it changed the sound and volume level on my computer, but I can also very easily to change it to zoom for instance. As a demonstration of that, I was editing a uh, image for one of my videos previously, and now you can see the zoom controls are working very well. I can just change this dial and it will zoom from smaller all the way to 
uh, detailed and expanded. And of course, this works across any program that you have on your computer, whether it's Photoshop, whether it's Paint. Some of these other controls would probably be more useful to illustrators and people working with uh, specific drawing software. So for instance, I can change the tilt uh, as well as the thickness of the brush, for instance, and I can change things like going back, redo, undo, as well as changing and dragging things left to right and moving it around on the screen. So panning around, I can also change the screen brightness on the computer. So that's something else that I can uh, very easily do using the style, as you can see here. And before ending this video, a quick size comparison between a full sized mechanical keyboard and the deluxe designer, which you can see really is just less than half the size of a full size keyboard, so it doesn't take up that much space on your desk. In terms of sound, it really is similar to this uh, other blue switch that I have lying around, although this one does have thicker, uh, larger keys, so there's a bit more of a springiness to them, but you can see that the sound really is about the same since it's also using blue switches, just like on the deluxe, which has a slightly more crisp sound. So that's the Deluxe Designer, a completely reimagined and customized keyboard from the ground up uh, that actually works quite well and could be a powerful tool, as the name suggests, for graphic artists, for designers, people doing a lot of editing with various software tools such as Photoshop. Uh, you have these customizable dials on the side here that actually works pretty well, whether it's for volume, for zooming in, for panning around. It's a pretty neat little trick, and the fact that you can customize it at a simple tap of a button to go through different modes that it will remember thanks to the custom driver slash software that you get out of the box is also pretty nice. I like the construction, I like the feeling, and again, if you are a graphic artist, if you have a graphic tablet, for instance, this could be something that's worth investing into just because it gives you a lot more precision in terms of zooming in, in terms of accessing these quick shortcuts than what you'd have using a regular keyboard or using you know multi-touch for zooming. This gives you definitely more granularity and uh, will help you improve your speed as well as precision in your work. So thanks for watching this video here at OS Reviews. That's just been our hands-on review of the very interesting deluxe designer mechanical keyboard.